Right, well today we're going to tie the magoo. This is a, a fly that a good mate of mine, Verm Barbie, developed uh, and named after a, um, a fishing mate of his who had a significant impact on, on Verm's early fishing days. Now I tie these on a, a Hannock hook, an H250BL. Uh, it's a, a size 8. It's a, a new fly that Hannock have designed. Uh, it's a matte finish. Uh, unusual shape, a slightly squarish shape, but a really big gape, which is uh, fantastic because really good for using when you're using beaded flies. So the bead is not obscuring the gape or the point of the hook at all. Copper bead, you can use either copper or tungsten in these. Uh, this one's a copper one, but tungsten works as well depending on the depth of water you're fishing at. So we've got uh, usual 80 green thread or olive thread. Just get things prepared in the usual way. And then important part of this is your marabou. Uh, one of the big mistakes I see with this fly is the wrong colour marabou. So you know, pay particular attention to your marabou to get the right colour. Uh, so we're looking for a medium olive would be the best way of describing it. But I do see a lot of these flies tied that are actually quite, quite light in colour and I, I just don't like that. Um, so that's one clump. We're probably going to have to get a little bit more to put on this. Yeah, not quite enough there yet. I'll grab a little bit more marabou on that. It's not an overly dressed tail, but you do need a bit in it. We'll tie that in, double it up. Now an important bit I like too is once you get to the end there and you've lashed that marabou in is to lift the tail up and go behind a couple of turns. What that will do is it means that you don't get the, the marabou sort of wrapping around the, um, the bend of the hook as much or if it does wrap around it's easier to clear out. So that's a, a good little trick when you're tying woolly bugger style flies. The next thing we're going to do is put in our polar flash. Uh, this one's the... Um, is in the marine green or sometimes it's called emerald but you don't use just don't cut the um, the flash out of here you've got to pick out the emerald green color uh, because there's multiple colors in that and we don't necessarily want to use we just want to get the emerald green flashy bits so I've got a couple of bits here takes a little bit to get these sorted out and it's only two strands again sometimes I see these flies tied and they're, they're a bit too flashy. You, you want subtleness in, your, uh, in this fly. So it's, it's two strands down either side tied to the side of the hook. I'll put that there, then I'll bring that around. Pull that through. Finish that off and I'll just cut him at the length. So we've got two strands in either side now. Now we're going to put in our, um, our copper wire. Uh, so this is a fine copper wire. You could use medium copper wire as well, but fine or medium copper wire. Again, lash that in. Come forward again. You notice I'm not coming right up to the, the eye. I'm leaving a bit of a gap there because we don't want to overcrowd that. We're going to have a bit of, uh, quite a bit of hackle to wind in there at one, one stage. Now we're going to get our peacock hurl. So I get two strands of peacock curl and I'm going to put them in by the tip, not the butt. So get them to the same length, lash them in. The reason I'm putting them in as a tip rather than the butt, I'm putting them in by the tip rather than the butt, is there's a slight, um, they get slightly bigger as you come towards the butt, the length, length of the, the strands and the hackle and you get a slight tapering in the body, not much but a little bit just looks better that way and you also tend to get the natural curve of the peacock hurl facing backwards on the body of the fly. Coming up towards the front. Just break that off. The next bit is to put in our um, in our body hackle. So this is where these, uh, these Indian capes come into play. So this is a cock cape it's an Indian one. So not particularly good quality, but they're perfect for these types of flies and for these Palmer bodies. And we'll prepare that. 
Again, you want to pay particular attention to the length of these hackles. You don't want them too long. I do see some which are actually just too long. So we'll lash that in there. Put the hackle pliers on that. And we're going to taper that around. Oh, that would happen, wouldn't it? Didn't quite get that lashed in properly. We'll whack him in again. And I want this again, the, the natural camber of the of the hackle to face to the back. That's the way with this one. Four turns, about four turns. And catch that with the um, with the wire and come back with four turns in the opposite direction. We'll catch that off. Now we've done that. Well, that did just break off of its own accord there on the tip and broke the wire off there. Then finally, we're going to put in our, our partridge feathers. So this is again tied, um, tied in the olive color. Um, so they take a little bit of preparation, just get rid of the fuzzy bits. We'll cut that down right down near the feather. Try that, get that caught in there. This is a little bit fiddly, this you tend to sort of run out of room with the feather, but again with your hackle pliers, and again with the natural camber facing backwards, I turn that right in there and tend to I tend to use up all of the all of the hackle. Normally you get about three turns thereabouts, and you can then just break it off. And so we've got that there. That's our front collar. A um, little bit of wax, just so that when you we finish that off, it'll actually it'll catch there. Three turns. And as the Irishman said, to be sure, to be sure. Just another three turns, and that's the magoo. Um, you'll notice that um, I've left that tail very very long and that's the importance with this fly the secret with this fly is short shank hook and a long mobile tail so you're maximizing the amount of movement in the water you can vary your colors i'm seeing them now with orange tails pink tails i do them in claret um, i do them in black i do them in brown and of course you can vary the bead color and um, a very popular version of this is with a bright orange bead as well very effective late season and early season this film was proudly brought to you by The Fly Fisher in Melbourne and theflyfisher.com.au where you'll find everything to tie the magoo and a whole lot more.